All right, time to get a new hat. Let's see. I heard um, I heard the white rat hat's pretty good. Let's see. Let's just let's just type it in here. Oh, it's right here. Awesome. Let's see. What? Two hundred thousand. Six fifty. How much money I got? What? That ain't right. If you are watching this, then you could probably relate. Or if you are new, you will soon come to realize that upgrading your gear is outpacing your wallet. Commas, the in-game currency, is an integral part of the gameplay experience, so learning how to make them is highly important. Starting out, there is really no way to get rich, easy, and fast here. If you want fast commas, then just buy a premium currency and skip this video. There's nothing wrong with it and it supports the developers, but this is the extent of quick and easy. But Challenger, what about those guys that are making millions of commas an hour? And to that I say, you are just seeing the end result of all the work they had to put in prior to getting to that point where they are making that amount. So let's not jump the gun here. So let's get you a solid foundation on understanding how to make commas. There is a lot of parallels when it comes to making commas in Dofus and making money in real life in principle. I think where people stumble and struggle in making commas in Dofus is because in the real life you trade time for money, also known as a job. Here on Dofus, there is no job or job system. There is no boss telling you what to do, no, no fixed paycheck, no pass go and collect $200. This is more akin to a bazaar or a swap meet. You are your own boss pretty much and you are on your own and it's up to you to bring that cash money how you see fit. This won't be a top 10 list of go do this, go do that, but rather this video will help you understand the principles of economics to carve yourself a method to make commas because as it's such with open markets, you will be competing with others. But I will give a few tips at the end though, just to get you started. You will have more success if you are the only one doing what you are doing. This of course will take time as you need to get familiar with the economy of your server and adapt to it. Pretty much seeing where the needs of a demand need to be met. This can be super overwhelming, but will ease into things to get the ball rolling. Unlike other games you may be familiar with where you can just grind mobs to get direct currency and buy stuff for NPCs to get new gear. Dofus operates in an, I want to say, open player based economy. Anything you buy from the market will come from another player. And that player is setting their prices on supply and demand principles. And so will you. Supply and demand pretty much states that the more of something there is, the less the demand because it is easily obtainable. Therefore, it's cheaper. And the less of something there is, the harder it is to get, therefore, generally, the higher the price. Let's look at some examples. This hat, the flood, why is the market price so low? Well, I'll tell you why. Because everyone pretty much gets one when they start the game. That means high supply. No one is looking to buy one because they most likely have one. And since it's a low level item, it's disposable which means it's cheap, therefore little of value, right? Now let's look at context for some more information. It's made from low level resources that pretty much everybody has access to, so it's not hard to make, and it's used to make very specific items. Therefore, it goes here on the supply and demand curve. Probably not a huge market for these hats, so the return on buying and selling is probably extremely low. Now let's look at a low level resource, which will be the perfect place for you to start snowballing camas. Because at the end of the day, everybody needs resources. It doesn't matter what class you are or what build you are, people are going to need resources in some shape or form. Let's take this peewee feather for example. It comes from an enemy which is found in the beginner area of the game, so probably worthless too right? 
Well, these birds are in their 20s for their level, so there's a bit of a barrier to fight them. Anybody who is 20 and under are, are cut off from them, in a sense. So that creates a bit of limited accessibility. If you open up the bestiary, you will see that the drop rate is 10%. That creates a bit of a supply problem. Every time you fight a bird, you're not guaranteed a feather. Just those two factors alone give it innate value already. And this is exactly what you want to see when you're trying to make commas. As you can probably tell already, this feather has more value than the hat we spoke of. Now let's dig a little bit more for context. It's got a handful of crafts it's used in. Okay, so let's keep looking and click on one of these. This feather makes this cape. And that cape is used to make this other cape. And you will see that eventually this feather is needed to make a level 95 item. So anyone looking to create that cape will need to buy some peewee feathers to make it. Alright, alright, so there's a bit of a market for them. However active it may be. But there's another layer to this. And this is the layer of experience and knowledge that comes from playing the game. And this here is probably the most important part of making commas. Just play the game. You guys hear that, right? Just play the game? I will loop back to this, but let's, let's keep going. As with life, the older you get, the wiser you become. Hopefully. And that is why older people make more money than someone who's, who's just starting out. And it's true here too. Someone who has been playing the game a year will be able to make commas much easier and faster than someone who's just created a character. So, someone who has been playing the game for a bit knows that if you have 500 peewee feathers, you could trade them for a peewee pet. And because you've been playing for that long, you know that that pet is used by end game players. And are most likely just to buy these feathers from the market, because after all, they are level 200 and they ain't got time to fight little birds. So a pack of 100 feathers times 5 that sounds like it has a nice profit to it, right? So, so let's break this down a little bit more. So for a pack of 100, there's a market. Because there's people who, who want to get that pet. There's a reason why someone would buy a pack of 100, a pack of 10, and a single feather. There's the demand. And overall what this means is, if you put a peewee feather on sale on the market, it will most likely sell. Now let's go to the extreme end of things, the climb scalp. Level 200 item, it comes from a boss in a very hard dungeon that not many people will get to because it's at, it's at the end of the game. It has low drop rate and it's used in many end game crafts in quantities. In other words, low supply, high demand and therefore valued way more than a peewee feather to say the least. The only reason this item will come down in price is if more people have access to that dungeon and are dropping this item. Therefore, increasing the supply of Climbscops. Many people think when an item falls in value is because people are putting that item at a low cost randomly, but it's not. Now you know that, that supply and demand is pretty much king and it's pretty much telling the market at which price this should go at. Alright, so hopefully you guys got a good idea of how supply and demand works and it's very important because knowing why things are valued will help you at playing, predicting, and adapting to the ever-shifting market. So keep this in mind. And I cannot stress this enough, the market will shift. Things will drop in price, things will go up in price. So you won't be selling the same thing over and over again forever. The game itself gives you a handful of venues to make money in the form of professions. Specifically, the gathering professions. Farmer, alchemist, fisherman, miner, lumberjack, and hunter. These are going to be an excellent way to start building a nice stack of camas. Especially when starting out because you will be leveling your profession while making money with very little on your part and in a way, it's free money for you to earn. Unlike the PC version of Delphis, Delphis Touch, you have access to the market instantly, pretty much anytime, anywhere. 
You see this button here? Just get closer. A little bit closer. All right, you see it? This button here will be your best friend. And I'll tell you why. Say you picked up the farming profession. You out working the fields, you having a great time, you got some nice amount of cereal, press the button, put it on sale, put it on the market. Or maybe you decided to be an alchemist, so you out picking plants and flowers, put it on the market. You out fishing, put it on the market. You out mining for ore, put it on the market. Out chopping trees, put it on the what? Yeah, market. You guys got this, you guys got this. See, it's simple. All right, and last one, if you're out fighting mobs and you're a hunter, equip a weapon with the hunting attribute to drop meat. And well, what are you gonna do with that meat? Put it on the market. I feel like this should be like a slogan for like a TV show or something. <laughs> so you can be out gathering materials and selling them to your heart's content. The higher level the profession, the more you will be able to gather and have access to higher level materials. Pretty straightforward. And like you saw, when an item has limited access, it pushes that item up on the demand scale. And therefore, the higher the value. Gathering professions, overall, it's a nice go-to because they have a demand and a market already. A bulk of the crafts in the game include resources you will be gathering from these professions. In addition, you are going to have people that don't want to put in the work and just want to buy a large supply of materials to level up their professions. And this is where you come in to supply those markets as well. On the other hand, because this is a straightforward way to make commas, there will be competition from others. So you can have very volatile markets with this. From people just buying out the market to having an oversupply of resources. And again, this goes back to knowing your product or item. So you will have to stay on top of your prices to make those sales. And this kind of leads into the territory of playing the market. Getting familiar with what sells and at what price. If Ashwood is selling extremely low one day, then don't sell your stock. Hold off. Heck. If it's super low, buy it and keep it till the market stabilizes and sell it for profit. This is called flipping. If someone went in there and bought out the supply, have the stock ready to sell at a high price and capitalize on the shortness of supply. The more specific you are about the things you sell, the more conscious you will be of its market. Being conscious of markets is something that will come easier when you go into a market that you enjoy. For example, I love chopping trees. For me, it's very zen. It's very relaxing. Um, I'm doing it when I don't feel like doing anything else. I do it when I'm watching maybe an, uh, a movie on the side or editing. Since it's something I do consistently, I'm always putting wood up for sale and have become familiar with their prices. And therefore, it has become a good source of income for me. Not the only source, but a good source. And I'll talk about having multiple income sources as well in a little bit. But if I see someone in the chat that needs wood, I know what's a good price that I can sell it at and I know when I'm being lowballed. So again, play the game. Get familiar with it and this will naturally just follow. Now with this info, you should have the tools to start making commas. But in layman's term, and I have to give one piece of advice to someone who's just completely fresh to the game, I would tell them, play the game, enjoy it, put all your drops on the market. It's just that easy. If your bank looks like this, you are sitting on commas that are doing nothing for you. Those, those lazy commas. Get a job, you bum. <laughs> but if your bank looks like this, you are literally just sitting on commas. And this now puts us on another point about putting commas to work. Commas make commas. Now don't be spending all your commas in one place now. Comma management is highly important as well. You are going to need a nice stock saved up and this takes me into flipping, which I mentioned briefly earlier, or putting yourself in a place where you could jump on opportunities for you to capitalize on when they show up. Now that you have some commas to play around with, 
you are going to be on the lookout for deals. Let me elaborate. A lot of the time, people are going to want to make a quick buck and sell something super cheap. So you come across this item that's way under market value. You are going to buy it with the intent of just reselling it at an appropriate price. Or maybe you see something that quite doesn't add up. These type of things are literally free commas. The more expensive the ticket item, the more room there is to profit. This happens more often than what you think, so keep an eye out for these kind of things. Alright, and going back to that point I keep making, just play the game. Doing quests and achievements will yield a good chunk of commas and resources. You won't be making millions by any means, but it will be a nice padding and supplement to your other sources of income. Now let me get into a little bit of detail about this whole just play the game ordeal I keep yapping about. Like duh, just play the game. I've been playing the game, this is why I don't, I'm not making commas. Hold up, hold up, let me explain. When you play the game, especially after watching this video, you're gonna be like Neo when he sees like the Matrix. Y'all, y'all remember that scene? Where he's like, whoa, bro, I can see like the programming with my eyes. Crazy. <laughs> that was a terrible impression, but going back to what I was saying, you yourself are going to see what you need and are going to be buying just out of convenience. If you are playing the game, you are probably doing quests at some point. So keep an eye out for quest items. Maybe you run into an instance where you need a specific item for the quest. You check the market and there's nothing. Guess what? Go get that item, go make it and put it on the market. Put it on sale for other people that are out there doing that quest as well. So this is the stuff I mean when I say play the game. Because when you play the game, you're getting familiar with the world, you're getting familiar with the mechanics, you're gathering information, and the more information you have, the better you're going to get at applying that information. Now, let's compare. This is how you look before this video. Now, after watching this video, you have become a person of multiple income streams. You got your profession resources, you got your drops, you got your quests, your achievements, flipping and investing, and this is not including whatever niche you may have found holding you strong. And this is very, very important because if one of these legs starts to give, say it gets oversaturated or the demand goes down, you are not left in the dust because you have other, other sources of income bringing those commas in. But challenger, you may ask, this whole lesson in economics and philosophy, it's, it's cute. But how do I make those fat stacks like I see the other YouTubers and people? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because the answer is pretty simple, to be honest. They are pretty much doing this, just at a bigger scale. They have been playing the game for years. They are level 200 with level 200 gear. They could go into fights where one resource can be valued in the millions, they are knowledgeable in the mechanics of the game to be able to let's say mage. They have the capital to invest in high level items and get the runes to flip a regular ring into an exomage ring, making tens of millions in profits at a time. These people have a good grasp of these principles. It's not magic. Yes, you can get lucky and drop a high value item and sell it for a good chunk of commas but are you going to really leave that up to chance or are you going to take control on how many commas you have? This is something you really got to be proactive about. You need to have an intent to make commas else you will always be struggling but hopefully after this video you won't be anymore. Because one of the major goals of this channel is to teach you the ins and outs of this game. I did not want to make this about hard numbers or very specific items like yeah, go, go sell this, go sell that. Nah. Because you will most likely just learn nothing. What happens when that technique or item is no longer viable? There was a point in time where I just lived on... I, I was an alchemist and I was just selling orchids. And I used to sell them for a good chunk of change. Now, they are probably a tenth of the price of what they were. So I had to move on and look for something else. 
definitely more of a teaching you how to fish than just me giving you fish. So I hope uh, I hope you guys appreciate that. But let's move on to some tips. So basic rule of thumb is looking for items in demand and items that everybody needs to maximize your profits. And the Almanac's offerings is a fantastic way to put this into practice. Think of the Almanac's as a as a daily reward or an incentive to log in every day and to do it. So every day uh, there's going to be a different item uh, people are going to have to take to the Almanac's temple. And this is where you can come in and make a little bit of money because the demand for that item is going to skyrocket. So if you have that item on hand or if you need to go drop the item, this would be the perfect time to put the item on the market. And because this is a simple way to make commas, you won't be the only one doing this. So you gotta, you gotta stay on top of the market and make sure that your item is the one that's gonna be visible for people to buy because other people are gonna be doing the same thing and they're gonna be undercutting. And one last thing on the almanacs is if you type in almanacs Delphus Touch onto Google, it'll take you to the official almanacs website and you can see what items are coming up on what dates. So you could, you could do a little bit of prep when it comes to this. Another tip is save your commas. If there's something you can make or drop on your own, do it. Saving commas is just as important as making commas. For the most part, it's always cheaper to craft your own gear than it is to buy. And like I mentioned, saving commas is going to allow you to get ready for opportunities. And tip three, uh, I guess we're doing numbers now. <laughs> Keep in the know. Take time to see what's coming up in terms of like updates or maybe even trends if you could read that far into it the uh, developers did a huge economy shakeup update um, i'm just going to give an example here uh, before the economy shakeup this sap resource item was pretty much worthless but i knew they were going to be integral once the update hit so i bought out the market when they were just pennies after the update, their price skyrocketed into the tens of thousands per 100 and I made millions off of it. <laughs> Another example is with the uh, Pandala Awakened update. Guess what went up in price? Items related to the new Pandala quest. So updates like those could be a good window of opportunity to make a little bit of profit. And lastly, put it on a market, put it on a market. Put it on the market if you want money in your pocket. <laughs> oh, I don't know where that came from. But that sounded pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but seriously, look at this. You can have 1,000 items on sale at a time. If you're complaining about commas and you got zero items on there, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Alright folks, let's bring this to a close. Hope you found what I had to say useful. Hopefully it puts you on the road towards your first million commas. That would be that would, that would be pretty awesome. And remember, like if you like the video, comment if you got something to say, and subscribe for more English Dofus Touch content. Until next time, this is Challenger EX. Put it on the market. Put it on the market. Put it on the market for more money in your pocket. Put it on your market. <laughs> Whoa, I can see the code, man. The market code, bro.